Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing the topic ultrasonic method. It is another method of stream flow measurement. So let's get started. So what is ultrasonic method? It is also similar to area velocity method. And in this method, discharge is calculated by multiplying velocity with cross-sectional area and here velocity is measured using ultrasonic signals so let's suppose this is a river and this is flowing in this way and velocity of flow is v cross section of this river is shown here v is the width of this river d is the water level and two transducers A and B are installed at height S from the bed level. These two transducers can send as well as receive the ultrasonic signal. These transducers A and B are installed in such a way that line joining these two transducers is making an angle theta with the horizontal. A is the length of this path. So let's suppose transducer A sends a signal and it is getting received by transducer B in time T1. So T1 can be written as L divided by C plus Vp. Here C is what? C is velocity of sound in water and Vp is flow velocity component. Vp is component in this direction. Similarly, transducer B sends a signal to transducer A and it is getting received by transducer A in time T2. So T2 can be written as L divided by C minus Vp. Here it is getting subtracted because both are in opposite direction. Velocity of sound is in this direction and Vp is in opposite direction. So it is getting just subtracted. Next what we are doing, we are just writing C plus Vp as L divided by T1 and C minus Vp as L divided by T2. So C plus Vp is L divided by T1 and C minus Vp is L divided by T2. Now what we are doing, we are just subtracting equation 2 from equation 1. So what we will get, we will get twice of Vp equals to L by T1 minus L by T2. It can be written as 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2 equals to twice of Vp divided by L. Here Vp is written as V cos theta. So it will become twice of V cos theta divided by L. Now we can get V as L divided by 2 cos theta multiplied by 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2. So V is what? V is the velocity at depth H from the bed level. V is not the average velocity for the whole cross section. It is velocity at depth H. So what we have to do if we have to find out the average velocity for the whole cross section. So what we have to do? We have to install these transducers at certain depth. So this is ultrasonic method. I hope you have got some idea about this topic. 